the track map for the day. I believe they are using the Angel Stadium parking lot. And here's an aerial view of it. And I believe it's this particular parking lot from the way I was driving in. It's a parking lot, a large parking lot. Uh, it's not a racetrack. So they lay out cones on top of it and allow people to drive around. And this is the way they lay out the cone for the day. At least for that day. This is for the morning session, 10 o'clock a.m. And 13 cars for the session. It looks like we have GT3, FRS, and I'm the 2017 Grand Sport, McLaren 570S, and I'm the ZL6, Mazda GT350R. I'm currently sitting at 29.813, a third place. Today's list with a uh, Model 3, Viper ACR, AMG GTR, Honda S2000 CR, and we have a Port GT3, GT3 RS, and there's me at 12th place in 2017 Grand Sport in S10 at a 29.813. Here it goes on to another list. At the 20th place, we have another Grand Sport. We have GT3 Touring, ZL6, 2003, another GT3 50R, another GT3 50R, and we see GT500. Also, there's an interesting one, there's a, my buddy James911. So we can see there is another ZL6 and the Exige S which is really cool, but it's only at 38th place. Now we'll get back to the map. Based on this map, we can see there's few turns, very sharp turns. There's the beginning um, 60 degree turn, we're gonna do a S, and we'll do a U, then we'll do a almost reverse 120 degree turn, then another U with a slight S, and then 90 degree S to the finish line. The challenge part of this is there's not too much straightways, so it's all at corner speed. So my buddy James invited me to this event. Uh, it's the first time I'm here, but he's been here before. He went to the 9 o'clock session. I booked the 10 o'clock so I can watch him run first before I go fall in and jump. You know, jump in, I guess. Um, also, the 10 o'clock session might get hotter, so that as the engine, you don't want to run in the hotter temperature. So it's better to run 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock. Anyways, uh, I get to watch him. He is fairly fast. Um, from the outside, looking in, never drove this. It was um, terrifying looking at how fast they were going through the parking lot. So I did went to a ride alone. The passenger always feel more terrifying than the driver. Even though I done some racing, just the anticipation of it really hard to know what's coming and throw you around the sea. It's more like a roller coaster, but it's worse because um, on a roller coaster you're on the track. On the in the car, if the seat doesn't hold you. You just being sore left and right, unlike a roller coaster seat. So he did pretty good at 37, 36 seconds. So I figured I would be around maybe close or at 40s, beginning 40, like 41. There are people at 40 something and also 50 something. So to me, as a first time beginner to this event, 37. Um, I saw that will be my time. So this simple map is basically showing where the break zone is and the duration of the break zone. Fairly simple, just around the corners. The next map is a little more technical. This is where I need to keep up the speed to the last moment to do the hard break. Only apply on cars ever very good braking system with a big rainbow brake or whatever you have. 
uh, this is what I learned. If you do the latest braking and get through the corner, you will save a lot of time on the track. Final analysis is where I need to put the car around the corner. I need to put the car at the outer edge, come through the apex, come out, and that's basically the analysis I draw in here with the yellow lines. The tip to tip of the yellow line is where I need to place the car along with the latest braking acceleration from the previous two analysis. So this is what I did before the event the night before. I studied this, imagined I was driving and kind of holding my head. So when I get on the track, I don't need to look the track as much as more of a reflex. Now I will play my track from lap 4 to 8. I forgot to record uh, 1, 2, 3, but 1, 2, 3 is most likely a worn up lap. It won't be too much different than everybody else. I think uh, when I start recording around 4, it started to get better. The video has been speed up twice because uh, it was very slow watching the video by speeding up things we can see what's happening a little easier guess which lap much quicker right here this S this should be fairly easy a lot of people screw up there you just need to thread a needle in the middle the only hard part is at the end of that S you need to uh, break really really hard to make that giant 90 degree turn Otherwise, you skid off the runway. Okay, this is lap 5. 31, 963 second. I end up faster, ranking faster than I'm a McLaren in front of me. Uh, McLaren is a mid engine, and I am a front engine. The supercharger. Okay, uh, Horsepower doesn't really do too much in this uh, particular track. Here's where I really screwed up. I run very wide and I forgot to break. I was concentrating on all the corners. I did it pretty well in the beginning. I did make up some time in the beginning and the end. That made boo boo. Uh, where I ran, almost ran off the track, slowed me down by about a second or two. This is 30.93 second. So it's about a second faster than the last one. taking care of the rest of the turning. I basically put in full auto. This is the fastest lap, 29.813 little a second, a little faster than the last one too. So this is the fastest lap. The traction control in the Corvette take care of the rest. I just hold on and do my braking and acceleration and steering. Steering. The car and the Corvette will do the rest. This is on the stock tire OEM tire kit in the factory. OEM wheel. This is really good. The computer is taking care of the braking, especially at those corners. It just does whatever it, uh, it's possible. I actually ran so fast, I almost ran into the wall. That's why I was pointing towards inside of the track because I almost could not stop. I was going going so fast at the end. Um, the speed got carried through. It was amazing. This was 0.7 seconds slower than the fastest lap. This is the eighth lap, final lap. Still pretty good. 
I would say this is the second fastest lap, most likely. One second is really quick, but on the track, it really make a big difference. Right here, heartbreak, accelerate, traction control take care of the rest. Right here, heartbreak, traction take care of the rest. Stress through this piece. Full power, brake, 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 take care of the rest. Right here, I drift a little, if you see that. Full power, drift a little, and uh, it pulls it back. I remember to break hard right when I passed the cone on like the last time. Please enjoy some pictures we got from the event professional photographer. I believe it was free in the previous events. I think it was the first time they started charging money for our, this event, start this event. So I end up had to pay for all these photos. They're really, really nice quality photos. Very clear. Um, they catch the motion because I barely see my car moving. As most of you guys drive your car too, you don't really see your car. Everyone else sees your car. So I was really glad to pay for all these pictures because at least I get to see the car moving. Um, even better, it's racing, I guess. So. Doing laps around, looks cool. Really cool pictures. Look, the wheels that was just a powder coat wheel from the factory, the Grand Sport wheel I use for tracking, not the boxing uh, forge wheel. It works out pretty good. End up someone from the event ball my wheel. Um, yeah, here's James with a helmet, looking cool.